Leadership is to take action in a way that adds value to someone else. So every group I talk with, there are a couple of types of people. There are people, believe it or not, that are very senior in the organization, have plenty of power, authority, and they do not feel empowered at all. It's a little bit more about them, and it's a little bit about the culture of the organization. They grew up in an organization where the culture was keep your mouth shut and your head down. And they kept getting ahead, and the more senior they got, the more they thought, I'm doing well, the stakes are higher, keep my mouth shut and keep my head down, I do not want to screw this up. What happens is people that report up to them feel tremendously frustrated, suffocated, and this person cannot understand why good people are leaving. They recruit good people, but they don't stay. Why? Uh, you know, it's the comp. Well, no, it turns out it's not the comp. And so one of the things I try to do with those type of people in the organization that are in positions where they ought to have an impact is say to them, hey, you got to act more like an owner. Or if I'm speaking to a group, I say to people, act as if you're empowered, even if you have to delude yourself. Pretend you're empowered, you're going to be a more effective leader. Okay, so that's one kind of person. There's a second kind of person who, who actually says to me, I believe in everything you said, I'm trying to do what you say, but I'm blocked. I'm, I'm in the middle level of the organization, my boss does not agree at all with what you're saying. They don't encourage me. They don't say, keep your mouth shut, but every signal I'm getting is unwelcome, 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 unwelcome. Your comments are not welcome, okay? And what do I do? That's a trickier one. And what I say to them is, depending on the organization, if this is a temporary issue, maybe you can you know, have a stiff upper lip and get through it. If on the other hand, this is indicative of the whole organization and you feel you're being suffocated and you're not developing, you're inclined to be a leader, but you're being discouraged and this could go on for years, this is where people struggle and have to decide whether or not they want to stay in the same organization. When you're interviewing for a new job, you want to scout out whether that's the kind of environment you're going into. And if you're in that situation, you got to think about is this going to stalt your development? So a lot of people think people leave jobs over money, but a lot of people leave, and I think very appropriately, because they're not developing. They're not reaching their potential. They don't see a path to reach their potential. And I think if you're in that kind of position where you think that's happening to you, this is where you need to get some advice, probably in that case from outside the organization, and think about whether this is going to improve or whether you need to do something uh, to get yourself in a better position and maybe even leave the organization.